Blender 3.6 is almost here. Let's go through the best features. This is a big update. This video is sponsored by ASUS and Intel. I know you all love performance updates and cycles and now loads large geometries faster, reducing the time between geometry changes or switching to rendered view and when rendering starts. You can expect large meshes to load about four to six times faster and mesh attributes are copied up to 10 times faster. Point clouds loading around nine times faster and curves are loading up to 10 times faster. Viewport Compositor, an amazing feature added in the last update, is now getting a lot more broadened functionality with new node supports, features featuring some major changes, including nodes like convert color space, plane track to form, denoise, and much more. Key features like bicubic interpolation, repetition along a single axis, and multi-layer XR images are now supported as well. These new simulation nodes are a pivotal new feature that give artists the power to create dynamic simulations within geometry nodes. With the simulation input and output nodes, simulations will evolve frame by frame, creating incredibly intricate and real-time visual effects. And to keep your workflow streamlined, all the simulation results can be baked or cached with the new panel in the physics tabs. I'm currently working on a new product that uses simulation nodes. You can actually get this project file for free, but I'll talk about that more at the end of the video. Next feature up, we have the new add-on, which is the VDM Brush Baker. And this innovative add-on is simplifies creating vector displacement brushes in sculpt mode. This powerful tool can inject more detail into your sculpting workflow by enhancing your efficiency and creativity. I've actually covered this in a previous tutorial, so check that out if you want to learn more. Additional performance updates are littered throughout this update, including modeling, UV editing, and geometry nodes. Let's dive into a bit of each section. With modeling, we've seen a major boost on faster conversion from edit meshes to object mode meshes. And especially with processes when dealing with multiple UV maps, we're talking 75%. Performance of face corner split normal calculation is improved by up to 80%. And in conjunction with custom split normals data, the performance boost can reach up to 44%. UV editing and UV packing has also seen some major enhancements with the UV packing engine performance. The layout's efficiency has increased with additional options for UV packing approximation shapes and overlapping islands now stick together during UV packing. There's a new option to pack islands back into the original bounding box as well. And back to geometry nodes, this is important because it can also enhance your performance of simulation nodes. There's a new system called implicit sharing. And this innovation results in significantly better memory usage and faster operations. Certain nodes, such as instance on points, instance two points, points to vertices, and mesh to points now perform around 10 times faster. Minor update, but a useful thing is that the asset browser now has tooltips, which will now show full name and description of assets, enhancing your asset browsing experience. Now under the viewport display of your rigs, you can actually change the relationship line to draw from either the tail or the head. Another small little quality of life update is you can now grow and shrink your selections in the weight paint mode with edit selected. You can also now frame from a selection up here with an operator. So hit frame selected channel and it will zoom in to pick the selected channel that you have over here. Very convenient for isolating graphs. 3.6 also bolsters GPU rendering with several improvements. AMD users will enjoy hardware ray tracing acceleration on Windows using HIP RT, and Intel users have similar accelerations with Ombre 4. Apple Silicon GPU users now have Nano VDB for metal, reducing memory usage of volumes. Now, I'm a big ASUS fan, so I was excited when they contacted me. I have an ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo and a ProArt motherboard in my desktop, both great quality products. Now this is the ASUS ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED, powered by an Intel Core i9-13980HX processor and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 laptop GPU. Its CPU ensures you have a fast viewport performance and the GPU will blast through renders. Check the specs at the bottom of the screen here. One of the standout features is the ASUS style. This intuitive physical controller gives you precise fingertip control over parameters in your creative apps like brush size. And speaking of creators, the Creator Hub is a game-changing app. It unifies your experience across all ProArt or ASUS Creator devices. You can calibrate colors, adjust settings, monitor performance, and streamline your workflows. Plus, it's got a new color control feature developed in collaboration with Pantone to optimize your color tools. Comes with a gorgeous 16-inch ASUS Lumina OLED screen, 3.2K resolution, and it has an amazing resolution. You can see the full specs here at the bottom of the screen, but simply put, it's stunning. Check out the link in the description to explore more about this laptop and the amazing Intel processor powering it. Don't miss out.
Now, if you've stayed this long in the video, you're clearly excited about that free sample project that I mentioned. So I'm actually working on a full visual effects asset pack coming out next month. But right now you can go ahead and download the free sample pack. And then I will also email you when that comes out. Check out the link in the description below.